What's up guys, guys Lee back with another video. In this video we're talking about our weekly reset. Gonna be looking at all our activities for the week. Gonna go look at a few things here at the main menu. Gonna see what the raid challenges for this week. And then we're gonna go down to the tower and check out some of the stuff down there. First we're gonna hit up the nightfall this week. Which is Sabathun's song. So we're going back down to Titan. The two modifiers of momentum, health and shield regeneration, are disabled uh, while standing still. So you're going to have to sprint around to get your stuff back. We've done this before on Sabathun's song. It wasn't so bad. Time warp anomalies. Strange anomalies have been detected in the area. Destroy them to release temporal energy and extend the mission timer. So there's also going to be a way for you to actually get bonus time this week on this as well uh, by cheesing uh, these. So I'll have that up as well later. Um, it shouldn't be too bad uh, doing this this week, but depending on your group and your light level, things can sometimes get tough, but I will have a guide out explaining to you how to make this not so difficult on yourself. Moving on from that, if we look at our stuff this week, so uh, undoubtedly our winner is New Monarchy, so we're going to be checking out that weapon as we go down too, so congratulations to New Monarchy. I'm definitely uh, on with them, and I knew they were going to win with that sword, so we're going to go collect our sword. Um, and then if you look down the thing, we've also got a raid challenge. We'll check that out in a second. Flashpoints are going to be on Titan this weekend, so that'll also be where Ty uh, where Zer is this weekend. Um, but basically, you know, one or two things down here, public events for your flashpoints this week. Down here, in the very center, you're going to have a hive thing over here um, that basically has you stand in two circles, and that knocks shields down on two wizards. Once you kill them, there's going to be some crystals up in the top corners of the room that you have to destroy to make it public event uh, heroic. There's also a thing right here that can trigger uh, that's fallen. And whenever the uh, actual um, walker tanks land, you're going to basically have to kill the walker tank uh, there and uh, take all the domes down to get your uh, shock cannons or your um, scorch cannons. Uh, if you get all those domes down by downing the walker tank and getting those orbs, you're going to make it heroic as well. And that's also what you do over here. So the public events are very slim this week, but doing this is going to be very easy. Um, you just basically trigger back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So that's your flashpoints for this week. You've also got a couple of things you can do here to get you some more powerful gear. Let's go down to the raid real quick and check out what the challenge is. And then we will go see in the tower uh, about our new new monarchy sword as well as a few other things that they have down there. All right, guys. So the challenge this week is going to be in the pleasure gardens, uh, which has been done before. You basically have to keep somebody in the center of the room, I believe. Like I said, I haven't done it yet. Uh, there's plenty of tutorials out there to check it out, but I wanted to tell you where it was at this week. So it's in the Pleasure Gardens. So let's now go over to the tower and uh, check out what's going on there as far as weapons from New Monarchy um, and then well, Eververse and everything else. All right, guys, for Eververse this week, we've changed over our stuff. Let's see what they got. So we got Don the Hat. Let's see what that looks like. That's kind of cool. I mean, if you want to make some Harry Potter references, but I guess other than that, it's not really that great. Shoulder dance. Okay, 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 okay. I might have to get me some of that. Give me some of that. Oh, excuse me. Noble steed. Uh, that's all right looking. I mean, I wouldn't waste all my time on a, on a sparrow or one of these ships right here. Ooh, now this looks really cool. Definitely might be sinking me some some dust into that this week. Ooh, and this this looks good as well. Book of the Dead. Oh, that looks awesome right there. I like that. Oh, and this looks cool too. Under construction. I like all that orange stuff right there. Construction stuff. All right, then we got Indigo Matrix. Come on, hurry up. Ooh, that's kind of that's kind of good looking. I still love what I got on right now with that red and that gold. Let's see. Monochromatic. Okay, kind of chatter whitey. Amalon Meteor Gloss. That's kind of cool as well with the blue. Got a few ghost shears. She uh, <laughs> got a few ghost shells here as well. And then a mark, uh, mark of Optimacy. Um, we'll see what it looks like. That's kind of cool as well. Um, I have to get something like that and put a nice shader on it this week. Uh, but other than that, let's go over here to New Monarchy and collect our sword. Sorry, guys. I had to switch to my hunter. I forgot I wasn't on... Uh, my titan with new monarchy this time so i open that as well give me a few more shaders before we go for this time all right so let's get this sword 
Let's see what it looks like. Uh, well, I mean, we already know what it looks like. But let's see uh, a little bit more about the perks and everything else. All right, so it's a nice, beautiful red sword. Well-rounded and reliable. Do that uppercut with it. Tempered edge, increased sword damage and ammo. That's always great. Jagged edge, increase the damage at the cost of sword ammo. So it just goes down to 23, but I bet that damage increases. So we're going to try that out. Burst guard, sword guard has low efficiency and high defense. Uh, that's all right. And then enduring guard, sword guard has high efficiency and low defense. I'd rather have this one right here. And then in guard day, I guess, uh, quick attacks immediately after swapping uh, to the sword do additional damage. So not only do we have bonus damage here, but then additional damage for swapping. So we're going to be trying that out in Crucible. I bet that's going to be a monster. Um, let's see what uh, I'm going to put on. I like me a good five. Put this one on. All right, so we got it up a little bit. So we'll try that out this week during Crucible. But that's pretty much it, guys, this week for all this stuff. I'll definitely have a video up today about how to cheese the Nightfall uh, later on. And I'm also going to have my Cade stuff up as well. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, what is your favorite thing that you're going to do this week? Uh, is it going to be picking up this sword from New Monarchy? Is it going to be doing the Nightfall? The raid, let me know in the comments. Like I said, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you guys in the next video.